Hi, welcome to another sketchbook tour. In my last sketchbook tour, I showed my face in the little corner here, and I feel like you guys like that. I liked it a lot better. I feel like it's a lot more like personal when you can see the face behind the voice. So I'm doing it again. I'm gonna make it a thing. So this sketchbook is my sketchbook number six. I'm gonna preface this by saying that I'm currently a little bit sick. It's not bad. It's just like a little throat thing and some like mucus or whatever. So if, um, if I sound a little off or I may need breaks every once in a while, that's why. Please excuse that. Yeah, the sketchbook is from, I believe I started it in 2018 and then I took it through to 2019. So this was my graduating year, my final year in art school. I think it's like a bunch of projects, some like doodles and things like that. But um, yeah, let's just get into it. I'll do those little like detail shots again. I feel like those are helpful. Okay, so this first spread, I feel like the sketchbook uses a lot of that really thin Muji pen that I have. This was my era for that, I guess. Um, so new sketchbook, summer 2018. So I guess I started it in summer 2018 and then finished it like spring 2019 or something. So I think it spanned like a year. This is when I was just in my new little relationship with Brandon. Um, <laughs> so I was kind of discovering like car illustration and getting into that a little bit. Some doodles, drew my hand a little bit. That was like a kind of default little study thing when I just wanted to fill pages. I would just like pose my hand in different ways and, and draw them. Also, um, I lost a nail when I was bowling. I went bowling last weekend. Um, so if you see that one sad nail missing in the middle, no, you don't. Okay, and then we have some sketches, more of that like thin pen, lots of like character stuff. I feel like during this time I did a lot of like doodles of like Instagram models and things like that, people that I would follow on Instagram. This was a character that I was kind of drawing a little bit at that time. She was like, I forget if I drew her in previous sketchbooks, but she was like this idea that I had for a story about a like Yakuza, Yakuza gang boss and then the wife. So this is the wife. Um, I didn't really do anything with it. Maybe I'll do something with that story in the future, but um, yeah, for now she just lives in the sketchbook. And Selty, I was obsessed with Selty in high school. She's my wife. I love her. I love her character design. Um, I think she's so cool. Just like more random doodles. And then yeah, so like I said, I started dating Brandon. I was pretty excited about it. <laughs> um, so I, I drew us being cute or whatever. This was after um, we went to California together um, for a drift event. And that was my first time like accompanying him for like a drift event. And I thought it was really cool. <laughs> so just a little fan art of myself. And then yeah, more doodles, a little like head study, something about drawing guys with beards. For some reason, when I draw a dude, like a dude's face, it's like never as good as when I draw them with a beard. You know what I mean? Something about like using the like hair here to like hide facial features that you don't know how to draw just like always looks good to me. I don't know. And then some more sketches. May sketch a day. Maybe this was like a challenge or something that I was trying to do. Um, more just with the pen. 2018. Yeah, I still had like tattoos on my mind. Thinking about getting a tattoo. More doodles sketches, random stuff. This is a character that um, I think I showed her in my last sketchbook tour, um, a character design that I used for that like demon hunting world class projects type stuff. So yeah, we're still in the summer and so I'm not doing any school projects right now. And I feel like I was thinking of like a little like summer project that I could do. And I had an idea of like doing like a editorial book of illustrations of like different outfits that I've worn. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I like draw my outfits from time to time and I like, you know, I don't know, I like the relation between like art and fashion and I don't know, I like to dress and I like to draw, so I draw my outfits a lot. But yeah, this idea didn't really go anywhere. I did a few drawings, I think, of like outfits that I had worn in the past, just like based off of old Instagram photos. The sketches are in here somewhere. I'll, I'll show them once we get to that, but uh, yeah, little summer project idea. And then more sketches of bikini ladies. 
I love drawing female anatomy. So I don't know, whenever I like sit down to draw a body, my like default situation or like my default outfit for her um, is a bikini because you know, the body. Just some more doodles. I think I was drawing a bit at like a cafe or something. This looks like somebody walking by. There's this cafe downtown that I would go to pretty often that uh, they had tables that faced a giant window that just looked out onto the sidewalk. And so I would try to like draw people while they walked by, which is difficult <laughs> because people walk fast. And yeah, so a lot of it was just like imagining. But yeah, a couple other doodles, some like little like character design type things, I guess. More sketchy, sketchy stuff. Yeah, so this is me sitting at the cafe in that spot that I said. Um, some more doodles, some more sketches, very like quick and light. I feel like these ones were just from imagination. Something about like women's hip region and legs and like all of that is so fun to draw. And I think it's so like beautiful and nice and dynamic and whatever. So I just, I, I guess I just did a page for that. More doodles, more sketches. Yeah. What was I doing in the summer of 2018? 2018, third year. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think I was like doing an internship or something, but it was part-time. So most of my days were free and open. Yeah, with like this sketchbook, I was trying to doodle a lot, fill it up, spend my time with no real like prompts or direction or like projects to work on, I guess. But anyways, um, yeah, more sketches, some like mermaid ones. Oh, I guess this is May. So I did a couple little like mermaid type things for mermaid. And then this is just some like layout planning I was doing for that OOTD project that I was talking about. Little sketch. I really like this one. I think this is based off of like a photo of this tattoo artist that I saw online somewhere. She looked so cute. She's like this tiny little Asian chick with just like covered in tattoos and like so cool and whatever. Just like a very perfect balance of like feminine and femininity, but like also hard. <laughs> which is so cool. I love that duality. Yeah, more doodles. I think this is, I must have been at a uh, somewhere, either like a cafe or like a mall or something like that. Here's my sister. This was, um, I did a drawing for like a contest online. I forget what the website is called. I'll like try and find any of that and put it on screen here. So this is the final drawing. So I kind of did like a little costume design, character design type thing of this like samurai warrior type person. I think it was a character design contest, but yeah, so that was just me figuring out like what her outfit looked like and stuff. And yeah, I ended up really liking this drawing. I didn't win anything. I didn't place in the contest, but um, yeah, it was a cool, uh, cool little experience. And then this is just notes. Um, this is for my internship. I was doing um, like social media and like general graphic design promotional stuff for this like nonprofit in my city. Um, a couple other sketches. These were probably based off of stuff I saw on like Pinterest or Instagram. Um, okay, and then these are some OOTD sketches that uh, I would end up not using, but um, I made for that. OTD project. Yeah, I just like sketched out different poses based on outfits that I wore. I think I would like find different poses on Pinterest or something. Like, you know, those like pose sheets that people make or something of like different pose ideas. I would do that. And then, yeah, so those were like a few of the, the sketches that I did. If I can find the final illustrations, I'll put them here. I did these in Photoshop, I remember. I was really happy with them. They don't really look like me, but yeah, it was a cool little project and I enjoyed the illustrations that came out of it, even though it didn't really result in anything, which is cool and fine and good. Some more sketches. This is probably like some Instagram model or something. Yeah, more doodles, blah, blah, blah. I feel like I'm really liking the blue pen or the blue pencil that I'm using here a lot. This is the Pilot Color Eno in the blue color, 0.7 lead. Being able to like build this like blue pencil-ish texture 
felt really good and like it doesn't really smudge. Being left-handed, I have to think about that a lot. So yeah, I was really like kind of exploring and delving into this uh, blue pencil. More figures, more doodles, slick woods. I think their look is just so cool and unique. Yeah, drew them a lot. Another illustration for the OOTD thing. And then these were drawings that I did for, um, I wanted to do a series of paintings for, uh, at my school we had a thing called a show and sale. So students would like submit art or like paintings or things to sell, prints, whatever. Um, and then we would host this like gallery showing slash sale type thing to the public and people would come, people would look and people would like buy stuff. Um, so I wanted to make a series of three paintings um, that combined like tattoos with female bodies or whatever. So this is just some like ideation and sketches going on here for that. And then yeah, some more sketches. This is probably based off of something that I saw on Instagram. Love anatomy as usual. I started playing a little bit with a uh, car illustration. This is, I forget when, but I, I did an Inktober. I've talked about this before. I, di I did an Inktober where I did um, a car drawing every day for a month. So this is just kind of like the budding interest, I guess, for me in terms of like car illustration and playing around with that a little bit. Blah, 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 blah. This is just like sketches and shitty notes and things, figuring out some stuff for uh, my internship. More of that, um, an S15, more car stuff. These are like not bad, like for just like trying to figure out how to draw cars for the first time. More shitty sketches, whatever concepts. A couple more, just random doodles here. More doodles, more sketches. Just filling up pages, I feel like. This was probably based off of like another drawing or something that I saw on Instagram of like Wonder Woman or like a Wonder Woman design. I really liked, I don't know, her body. <laughs> Wanted to draw it, so I did. Um, this is based off of a uh, Little Thunder post. This is her. She posted an Instagram photo of like her at the gym or something. I thought it was nice, so I drew it. Yeah, more stuff. This is Kendall Jenner. Her body is ridiculous. It's kind of insane. Um, that's all. Some more doodles, some more sketches with my sketchy sketchy pen. I think this is like a train conductor or something. I think I saw a photo of a train conductor from Japan. Yeah, more doodles. Probably again, based off of Instagram pics. More sketches, more, more, more. I really love drawing girls with short hair, um, like like this kind of short, like pixie cut. I forget when it was, but at one point I did cut my hair this short and I loved it. Like it was, I feel like women who rock the short, short hair are like so cool. I don't know. I feel like that's like a very um, universal feeling because it it takes a lot of confidence to take away your hair because hair is like very emotional there's a lot of like you know emotional ties to it but yeah to be able to just like go against the societal norms of what a woman should look like or how hair is so closely tied to femininity and just like rock the fucking short ass hair look is so cool to me maybe one day i'll, I'll get that uh I'll get that cut again because it was it felt good it felt dope yeah and then this is a doodle of that character that demon hunter character that i uh showed often in my last sketchbook tour some anatomy review stuff i think more anatomy i go through phases every once in a while where i'm like i should really study anatomy or like i should like brush up on my anatomy stuff and then i do like a couple studies and i'm like okay that's good <laughs> Um, yeah, it was such a great experience taking anatomy class and like having a semester where I like really hunkered down and like studied the skeleton and like muscles and things like that. And so every once in a while I crave it. This drawing is really cool. I remember doing this and like really enjoying it. I think I posted it on 
Instagram. I don't know, I just really liked it. It was based off of like a photo that I saw on Pinterest. And I just think I, I don't know, I nailed the, the vibe here. Um, more OOTG, OOTD drawing sketches. So I did a bunch of the sketches. I don't know which ones I ended up actually finishing, but it's kind of cool to see like all these drawings. I remember like the eras that I would go through, like when I would wear these outfits and things like that. Um, it was fun to do. One more of those. This is just doodles for my internship. Um, more sketches. This is what I wore to a uh, Christmas party. I wore antlers. <laughs> it was a fun time. I got really drunk. <laughs> and then yeah, these are just sketches from, I went to a cafe, drew some people. This is like a little display of plants that they had there by the window. Love drawing plants. It can be hard, um, especially when they're like super dense like this, but I feel like the effort really pays off when you like go in and draw each like individual leaf and you build up that kind of foliage and stuff like that. And then more doodles. I don't know what the timeline is. I don't know what uh, month we're in now. I think it's still summer. I'm gonna say that, but whatever. But uh, yeah, more bodies, more Instagram models, more doodles, a little portrait. This was probably from imagination. Instagram chick, Instagram chicks. Very nice. And then yeah, a couple cars here, an S15 and an S2K. <laughs> this one looks a little, a little funny. This is Sarah Choi's S2K. I think she's so cool. I love her car. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a simp for car girls. I don't, uh, I don't follow any like influencers or like Instagram ladies anymore. But um, when I did, I loved finding new like car girls. Something about that, like, I don't know, it's such a trope and it's such like a, <laughs> I'm not like other girls type thing, but I just eat it up. I think car girls are so cool. <laughs> Uh, anyways, um, yeah, a couple more drawings of cars, a fit and a Miata. This was before I had my fit, um, and I was just like dreaming of the day that I would own one. A few more little portraits or whatever, a couple more like quick shitty car things. A few more doodles, quick little sketch of a girl. Looking at like all of these quick little drawings of like women standing or like whatever, just like posing. I miss this. I miss drawing just like random little shits like this. I, I tried sketchbooking earlier today and that's gonna come out after this video, I think. I'm not like super set on timelines, but um, one of the vlogs around when this video comes out, um, I did some sketching and I just struggled, you know? Sketchbooking is such a complex thing when it really doesn't have to be. Um, I feel like a lot of the times when I do sit down to sketchbook now, I like overthink what I'm drawing. Um, whereas like looking back at this era of when I would sketchbook, it was so much more like flowing and like effortless. And I would just like draw fucking like beautiful women and bodies and faces and not think twice about like, is this what I should be drawing right now? Like, why do I always draw the same thing? Like, it doesn't fucking matter. You're drawing in a sketchbook and that's what counts. That's it, just like enjoy yourself, you know? It doesn't have to be so deep. Anyways, <laughs> a little tangent thought that nobody asked for. Um, this is a cool drawing I really like of my little Demon Hunter character chick. I should draw her more. Little reminder to self. Yeah, so I guess I'm playing with like a red Muji pen now. Um, this is probably like a fashion illustration from Pinterest or whatever. Um, little cappuccino here, Suzuki cappuccino, such a cute car. Uh, and then these are some doodles from Camp, which is a, it's like a design conference, a like design slash like creatives conference that um, would be hosted in Calgary once a year or something like that. And I was able to go through my school or something, like they got a bunch of us tickets or like there was, I don't know, something was going on, so I went. And um, yeah, these are just doodles from from that. Just like sitting in the audience, drawing some people that I saw, drawing some of the speakers. And then yeah, while the people were speaking, I would doodle them, take notes. Yeah, just kind of very quickly jot down what was going on in front of me. 
Yeah, so more doodles. I think this is still from camp. Um, and then this is just like a little drawing from my imagination, just like a, my default girl, you know, portrait. Another fit. This one looks janky as fuck, but you know, <laughs> what do you do? She was learning. Okay, so I guess we're into school now. This must be like September, because um, this was a project that I was working on for, oh, what is this, character, some some character design class or whatever. This is within the same world as like my little like demon hunter thingy that I was doing, that I did a bunch of projects on the previous year. So I was uh, designing this character that was like a mech. You know the trope, like the chick that like is small, but she controls this like bigger thing, either like a mech or a monster or whatever. Um, so the idea was she uh, had this like demon that she kind of like rode on his back or something and like controlled him and then used him in like fights or whatever. And he's like half demon, half like mechanic or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, this was me figuring out the composition, um, just a bunch of different ideas. The idea was like, she was working on this, um, working on this like demon's arm and like just the size difference between her and her demon partner companion guy. And then just like the, the like subtle like relationship between them, the like mutual respect, whatever. Yeah. So this was the composition that I ended up going with. Um, I will find the finished project and put it on screen here. I did it in Photoshop. I loved how it turned out. I'm like imagining it in my head and I think I really like it. I, I think when it came down to like color it, I was really rushed. I remember it being like very like dark, but the work that went into like the comp composition and the character I was really happy about and um, just the level of detail of like building out that scene. But yeah, this was a favorite of mine, despite the, you know, maybe finish not being perfect. More notes. Um, I think there was another part of this project where we had to do like a, I don't know, some other environment type vibe with those characters or something. I don't know. I kind of set it up to be like a street fighter kind of vibe, like a platformer fighter game type thing um, where they're on one side and then there's like a demon that they're fighting on the other side. Um, can't remember exactly what this looks like. I remember I tried like animating it. So if I can find the final, I'll put it here and you guys can see that. Um, yeah, it was a cool little project and uh, that's all. Um, this was a, oh God, what was it? It was like some illustration class. Um, if I can find it, I'll put it up here. Um, I really like this one. It was my first kind of exploration into isometric illustration. Um, isometric perspective. I use isometric perspective a ton. Um, I've used it a bunch of times since this for like different client work or whatever. Um, I'm a big fan of it. I think the aesthetic is really cool. But yeah, it was just like a fake advertisement for like um, these like apartment building rooms or something. They were trying to like sell the studio apartments. So yeah, I just like wanted to do like a little environment illustration of that. And then this was a uh, info design project or something. Stats on like police brutality and BLM. I don't know if I'm allowed to say those words without YouTube flagging me, but anyways. Yeah, just more planning for that. Uh, this was a, f I think it was a final project for one of my classes. Uh, I think it was supposed to be like a movie poster type thing or something. Um, and I took the idea of like, like I was talking about Selty before, if you guys have seen Durara, she's like a character where she's a Dullahan, which is like the headless rider. It's like a person on a horse with no head. So I wanted to kind of take that idea and do like a little movie poster for it. Um, this is just me planning it, um, doing compositional stuff. I wanted to do like a cool motorcycle, chick on a motorcycle holding her head kind of vibe. If I can find it, which I'm sure I can, here it is. I remember finishing this. It was a grind. I remember I had to like stay up like late in the morning when it was um, the day before th th this was due. And so I feel like I ended up rushing it, which is a common theme for a lot of my projects in school. Um, the like final 20% or whatever was always rushed. So I remember, I remember like not really 
being too too crazy about how this one ended up but you know what do you do here it is yada y'all um this was some planning for my website because i needed to prep my portfolio website for when i graduated so i could get a damn job which was crazy like that's a whole <laughs> that's a whole topic in itself going from school to being adult in the workforce it was crazy um anyways um and then this was a we were starting to work on designs for brandon's uh drift car we were doing a design refresh um so we were playing with i don't know different shapes and ideas and things like that if i can find a picture of that year that year's car design here we go wasn't my favorite um yeah <laughs> that's all i'll say <laughs> blah 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 um, these are some nice sketches. I must have been at like a cafe or something slash like doodling stuff from Instagram. Just like random little things. This was planning for an editorial project that we were doing. Yeah, we had to design like a little magazine and do like a couple different like features. It was a really cool project. Um, I did this one with a partner, Hannah. Hi, Hannah, if you're watching. I don't know if you're watching my videos, um, but yeah, it was a really cool experience. Um, she's a photographer, so we worked together to kind of like combine my like illustration chops with her photography chops. And uh, yeah, it was really fun. And then yeah, this was, I think for one of my classes, I wanted to do like more, more of a design slash like branding project, even though it was an illustration class, because I thought I needed more um, design work in my portfolio to get a design job when I graduated. So this was kind of that. I'll go more into it. I think there's more um, project stuff coming up for this, but I'll show you what that ended up looking like. I was doing branding, branding for a, uh, like a restaurant type thing, which was cool. Um, and then I ended up doing, I designed like the space, the restaurant space, and then the, the workers were like character designs. Actually, I think I printed these out for, uh, for our final portfolio show. I think I have them. Okay, word. <laughs> yeah, so this was our, um, magazine. There are so many things wrong with the design of this especially like th this being the front cover, like this is borderline illegible and like the like hand type or whatever that I was trying to do here was like so, I thought it was so cool how it like interacted with the photo and stuff, but like it's so, like I wrote this in like a second. It was very um, not polished and I thought it was dope. Anyways, um, yeah, so this is the, I'll just flip through this quick. Um, this is our little, magazine that we did. I drew pictures of both of us that worked on the thing. And then I did little portraits of like all of my friends um, that kind of like gave us crits and uh, gave us little tips and whatever while we were working on this. Um, yeah, it was, a, it was a food magazine. So it was like based on like restaurants and um, recipes and things like that. So this was my feature that I worked on. Um, we interviewed two bartenders in Calgary and then kind of like, I don't know, just like asked them a bunch of questions. And then I wanted to kind of show the interview side by side. So the left pages were uh, one of the bartenders and then the right pages were the other. And just like the whole kind of aesthetic vibe type thing with like little illustrations sprinkled throughout. Yeah, this was a fucking grind. I did all of this by hand um, in Photoshop. And yeah, I learned a lot about like typesetting and like just layouts and whatever. It was very cool. Kinda, kinda crazy thinking back to this, but uh, yeah, I'm proud of myself for doing it. And wow, there were a lot of pages, okay. <laughs> but yeah. All good and fun. Holy shit, when does this end? Okay, there we go. And then, yeah, the rest of it. This was Hannah's feature. She did like a photo book type thing. Really cool. She went to like a couple different diners, I think, and took some photography. Yeah. Cool. And then um, that other project that I was talking about, the like 
restaurant branding thing. I designed like a little menu. So this is the snack menu. I thought I did a drink menu too, but I don't know, maybe it's not here. Um, so yeah, this is the little snack menu. There's the back with the little monogram logo. Um, I did like a little mini style guide type thing or like a brand guideline, literally just like with the logo, some colors um, and some type. And then this was the um, visual book that I did. So this is like the illustration portion of it. Um, so yeah, the logo, and then I did a f I designed like a little uh, icon set. And then so blah blah blah. So this was like the character design aspect of it. I just did like a little silhouette lineup, and then um, drew each of the characters and like their roles. So like chef. Uh, executive chef, sue, um, manager, server, blah, 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 all that stuff with like different um, things about them. And I designed their little like uniforms and whatever. Um, and then, so this is the interior space. Again, I used that uh, kind of isometric style or whatever. This project, these like illustrations are actually, I feel like a large part of what got me my first job. I ended up becoming a, or my first job out of school was a uh, pro production designer for a real estate company or a developer. And they really liked the uh, like building illustrations that I did and thought that that could be like a cool piece of their marketing. So yeah, it was a very cool uh, thing. And then these are kind of the things layered. I remember making like a GIF or something of, of this. So if I can find that, I'll put it here. Kind of cool to see, so. Okay, moving on, moving on. Oh my God, let's move on. Yeah, I was doing some like personal branding type stuff. I was trying to figure out like my business cards, what that would look like. I wanted a little simple little doodle of me, a uh, little doodle. Um, More sketches, what is this? Okay, so we had just moved into this house. Um, and I was trying to like plan out the like interior design and like how I wanted to decorate the rooms. Wow, so cute. <laughs> and yeah, more doodles of me trying to figure out the style that I wanted. Some more sketches. These are um, like Instagram people, I think, doodles. I'm using a pencil, which is rare, but I love the look of a pencil. Um, and then this was when I did that mural. It's one of my first videos on this channel. Not my first, because I like privated a bunch of them that I didn't really like anymore, but it's one of my earlier videos uh, back when I, back in 2019 when I graduated, um, I did a mural as like a little graduation send off and um, I made a video about it. So you guys can watch that here if you want to. Ooh, okay. And then I remember this is after graduation. I went to a um, figure drawing class with my sister. It was like at the Japanese cultural center or something in my city. Um, and they had this girl dressed up in a kimono and doing different poses. And um, yeah, we did some sketches of her. It was a fun time. I always think like I should go to more figure drawing things. They're so fun and like good practice, you know? And then some like drawings of arms anatomy type stuff. This is probably just based off of some like something I saw on Pinterest. Um, and then we have a couple Inktobers. So yeah, this is the 2019 Inktober. So what I was talking about the car Inktober that I did must have been 2018 and that's like in its own sketchbook. So I'm not sure which sketchbook that's in but we will go over it one of these videos. More Inktobers, just drawing ladies, some like car doodles, car sketches, some like income planning dude, being graduated and like making money now and like having expenses and blah, blah, blah was fun and great and not at all very difficult and stressful and anxiety. Um, yeah, cool sketch. More sketches. I really love drawing like athletes. Um, 
people in sports doing sports poses a volleyball very cool uh makes for very like dynamic poses this was like some idea that i had i don't know Oop. um hot pink doja cat her album i wanted to draw it i think i saw this on instagram this is one of her instagram photos so um this is probably based off of like a photo that i saw from pinterest um i was planning the I did like a series of drawings after I graduated because I felt like I needed a personal project to work on. I drew like a bunch of girls. I don't know if there's any more sketches of that in here, but I'll show them here if you want to see them. They're on my Instagram. But yeah, I just did a bunch of portraits of like different types of girls or like female tropes or whatever. And then I was like, I wanted to write like an essay to go along with it and then do like a video on all of that, but I ended up not. So anyways, this is the art that made it out the other side of that idea. And then blank spread for some reason, a couple doodles, another inktober, character design, kind of cool. A couple faces, sketches, quick ones, I guess. M, 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 some doodles. These are probably figure drawings from like Pinterest, some studies. Um, I really like these, the like line quality of these are very like smooth and nice. And then this was a, uh, comic that i was planning um i'll put it here i posted it on my instagram it was really funny um yeah just an idea just something that happened that i thought like this would make a good like instagram comic i was like flirting with the, the idea of becoming like a insta comic girly or whatever um but yeah and then a quick little drawing here some more notes more notes I was going through like a big fucking existential crisis being out of school and now into life and I was like very depressed because I started working and then I was like, is, is this all that life is? Luckily I got out of that. I feel like it's a um, very common thing to, you know, shift, like a, a major life shift from going from working or, or being in school and like living that life into joining the workforce. And not having school anymore, not having projects, and you're like responsible for yourself and you have to think about the future and you have to make money and you have to take care of yourself and you have to like find other things outside of work that give you joy and purpose. And just like all of those things suddenly at once is a lot. And it hit me hard. And so that's that kind of that era. But yeah, eventually I I did get out of it and like you're gonna have fucking crises and like identity things and like i don't know mental health things all of your life and it's just like literally taking each fucking pile of shit as it comes and being kind to yourself and working through it and um just like trying to find the joy in little things in your life that you can find you know like sketchbooking or whatever you know it doesn't have to be these like giant huge projects that you do. It can be simple. Instagram lady. Great. And then I think that's it. Oh, no, hold on. Never mind. <laughs> um, yeah, little spread. I feel like this was, you know, the summer after graduating. I was like trying to fill in my sketchbook a little bit, play with some color. Um, these are just like probably referenced from like different uh, Pinterest figure drawing things, more planning. Um, and then I think that's it. So yeah. And there you have it. Sketchbook number six, my guys. And we're out of school. That was the last goddamn school sketchbook. Holy shit, we're moving, we're moving forward. Um, let me see. Let me, let's just like take a little peek at sketchbook number seven. Let's see what's next. I feel like this is the, the car one. Yeah, this is the car one. So my next sketchbook tour, whenever that comes out, will be this one. And I do lots of cool, fun stuff. I feel like I was filling this one in simultaneously with this one. Um, so yeah, like I said, lots of cars, lots of little things. It's a smaller sketchbook. So I feel like when I fill in a smaller sketchbook, it feels like a lot less intimidating and 
I don't know, I feel less pressure to like feel as much and like be as crazy and big and conceptual and I don't know, it's just a, feels like a safer space when it's smaller, if that makes sense, I don't know. So look forward to that. And then yeah, that's all. That's all for this one, you guys. Um, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys like the sketchbook tour. I hope it was, you know, filled with cool little things. I hope you guys like my ramblings. Um, thank you so very much for watching. Thank you for your support. It's just so nice. Sometimes I get like such nice comments and I think like, I don't know, the people that like watch my videos or the people that like say nice things to me, comment on my videos, all of those things, like you guys don't have to do that but you do anyways. And it's just so nice. And like, you guys are complete strangers, most of you. <laughs> um, and you're just being so supportive. So thank you. Thank you a lot, very, very a lot. It means so, so much to me. And um, I hope that I can continue to make these videos that you guys enjoy and continue to enjoy and provide some sort of value to you, so. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in a bit. Bye.